All right, I'm doing the local recording, Jojo. <laughs> I ran she, down here and the camera was off. Yeah, she couldn't do it to that. And her yeasties are dead. She's making pretzels. Yes, I'm not Soft dough yeast. pretzels. So we're going to, this is a live, um, you get to see both cameras in action and how they, they look. Um, default settings is they come into, in, into my X split right now. And uh, right now, the C922X, to me, looks better off the cuff unless you're back there with more light. And uh, you can see how the light right behind her is kind of go blown out. So her face gets blown out. But in this one, it like auto corrects mm -hmm. different sources and seems to do makes it more look like makeup's on both of us. Or, yeah. Oh, well, it's over. That's yeah. a good comparison. Yeah, it's not. It, well, the this one has a wider, but the default settings of how it come into yeah. are this. But I'm going to keep it on the defaults and I'm going to do a straight audio test. Right now, I always recommend uh, some kind of desktop mic or other mic because they will always sound better. Even the headset here will sound. And I'm changing to, we're going to do the C922 one right away. Or C922X. So that's this guy uh, here. <laughs> And that's the audio, so I want them. I want you to talk. Okay. I'm usually like, okay, so if I'm talking, I'm usually like, right, I'm gonna sit in Tim's lap. <laughs> if I'm at work, I'm talking here, and this is about as loud as I'm talking normally, I think, okay. right? Yeah. It's probably pretty good if there's a couple people sitting around. Yeah. Doing I think. a conference call. So this is me talking, and. All right, so now I'm on the Brio. I think out of uh, uh, microphones, I think the ninth, when I was listening, testing it myself. The C922X sounds better. Really? Right off the bat. The Brio does not. I think the Brio will be more echoey right now. Okay. More tinny. Yeah. Uh, what do you use? Uh, how many cameras do you got? Oh, where are webcams and stuff? Um, we, have, uh, we have one C922X and then we have the rest are all the Logi. With the Brio thing? Yeah, the one that I was using earlier, Logi something, which I think is just... A newer version of the 922X. I can go grab it real quick. If yeah, we'll actually have you grab it too because I thought we were. I thought you were using the C922X upstairs. Let me go grab it. Okay. Well, uh, while she's doing that, I'm gonna switch back to um, standard mic, and I'll do that. I'll try to keep talking about something while I'm doing that. If I can do that about a conversation and hear how it goes and all that stuff. I really want to do a deep dive of how this uses CPU and all that stuff. I'm not going to do it here. I'm not going to do it right now, but that could be another video if people want to use a uh, CPU and processor. Both. Right off the bat, I can tell you that I like the C922X in every way better, um, lazier, kind of out of the box, but make it beer the, you can see on the, on the, on this guy right here, that it, it seems to do a, uh, probably a better job of making people look more presentable <laughs> but not necessarily real so it's it's not my vibe you can judge and all that stuff I'm gonna that's okay it's it's good enough the C922X the bottom is what I like about this one a lot uh, because it's easier to get on and off the base yeah. the other one it you can you can get that little port it is hard to deal with. It has like a, a it has a barrier right here, and you feel like you got to pry it off and almost break it to pull it off, so you can get access to that. Um, it's kind of scary on the more expensive camera to do that off the get go. Now I'm going to do some. So I'm going to show you the full screen before I I do change my settings. Of this is going to be the C922X, how it looks just right off the box. You can see it overly blows out a little bit, but does a pretty good job. I like it. Um, and the lit, the, my room is lit about an office lighting right now. Not overly lit, even though I got gaming lights on me, but they're turned down to like an office um, type ish. of thing. Yeah, I would, yeah. All, both ish. these cameras <laughs> will always do better with more uh, light in yes. general, but you want to avoid, you know, having a window or bright light next to you because this is, it's just super it'll, distracting. It'll make but your We're on the, the Brio 4K, yeah, it'll make your face dark and, and you won't look as good. But I'm trying to give you, like, all the problems. Yep. And then, uh, okay, this is for me, gaming, small. This is what you'd look like. Really, basically, almost no comparable difference other than I'm a sheenier top, shinier top. And it seems to remove that on the fly. And both are automatic. Now, I'm going to, t to correct settings on... Um, each camera. 
the Brio kind of auto zooms in a little bit. Yeah, it, you can see it's close. And it's a digital, it's a digital zoom. So you're not getting any more, you're not getting quality out of it. But if you need your head to be bigger, it's fine. This is what it should be set to. Um, it has lots of options on it. I'm not showing you the options right now. Um, but uh, it has a it has a field of view at 90, and that's kind of what you want it set at because that's like its maximum range, and that's what it's it's uh, picking up. If I jump back to this, I'm going to change it back and forth to what it was. That's how it likes to default, but this is where it is, and this will be crisper, cleaner, and more real to life. Also, I, the auto settings of this I hate. It does an HDRI thing. Um, so I'm just going to stick on here why I changed some of the stuff. And the input is kind of wacky. What, what do you mean by HDRI? It does some kind of weight, high definition range thing that tries to blend things, but it doesn't do a better job. I, okay. I, I, I tend to turn that off. It's defaulting to, you know, I'm frozen right now, but it's, it defaulted to 1280 by 720p at 90 frames a second, which is a lot of frames a second. You will never need that. Especially frame. for an office setting. Office, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'll change it to 4K so you can see. This is um, straight off the bat, 4K. Oh. It's still doing its auto things. My awesome makeup's deteriorating. <laughs> yeah. And, now uh, I just look orange with life bits. Life bits. Ooh, dropping stuff. Which looks okay. 4K looks okay. So I recommend changing this guy. This guy t needs a lot of love to look better i think well once you get it looking better it looks better than the other one side by side 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames a second here we go this looks i think this looks pretty good um and well it moves around good it feels good it tracks well in the sense that um all those settings and you can see a direct side by side now the one on the right i feel is look the brio is looking better than the c9222x off the bat um, hmm. To be noted, the Logitech Brio at 4K will overheat a while after 4K and slow down. But you're talking about hours after running, wow. and it will it will get noticeably desynced out of my mouth um, after probably an hour of running. Well, that's annoying. So, but as long as you're not in a long conference call, you can go full out on the Brio 4K. Or here we go on the Brio 4K. Uh, you can go all out. That's just to help. You know, um, I think that's good to help people out. On this side. On this side. This I, yeah, well, I have the cameras up here so I can touch them. So I can, if people know which one I'm looking but, at without. So you are, though, referencing streaming. I'm referencing. You've not had a long conference call that hasn't been recorded. So I'm wondering if it's a long conference call. That's why we. The audio, we didn't do it very long. No, we didn't. I would assume it would fall apart, too. Um, we were doing, uh, what, what did we just? We used Skype. We just used Skype. So it'll, it'll, um, I assume it'll fall apart because it gets hot. It, oh, that's true. So it gets, it gets hot, hot. And I assume it's a memory leak and all that stuff, but you're talking super long calls. So you're probably always better off with the Brio 4K right now. And you're probably always better just slightly adjusting it to, which is a little bit of manual label to that, that 90 field of view. And it's, it's a little farther out, um, than the, this one, as you'll see. So you look a little smaller, but you can see that it's crisper. It's definitely yeah. more crisper and all those. It doesn't generate, when I'm on the Brio 4K right now, at yeah. 1080p at 60 frames a second, it does fine. It looks better, it sails. So I, I think this is kind of where you do, but it, this one does overheat at 1080p, or it starts to get off sync by a quarter of a second to a half second after um, using for like, two to three hours straight, okay. which is most people will not have that issue at all. Um, the 720p one on the left, I'm going to change a couple settings. Note that both, all these cameras, because they do the processing, basically they use your computer's resources, they do the processing internally and they will use more resources the less light you have. Oh. Or if it's like way too blown out, but it's likely you're never gonna be way too blown out. Mm. So I'm going to go in here and to the Brio 4K, and I'm going to change some of the exposures and, and some things yeah, on the these life bits off of me. on the right. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm turning yeah, off the auto exposure are... to the gain. Too 
too real. We're all darky dark. Or to the, the to the exposure Ooh, itself. Hello, brightness. Yep. Turning up my gain to one twenty eight. If I was smart I would have had that. I can have the exposure closer to the left on this one. All right, already I think it looks a little bit better. This is getting yeah. real nitpicky. Most people won't know or care at this point in time. Alan, whatever you did with your, your Dota stream looks good. Looks really good. And it's 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 good there. And then I can manually, this is good, quick settings, and then I can fine tune it in another application outside of the camera settings. I'll put just to be closer to 1920 because it'll fix some of the, well. Yeah, you like how it freezes. So it'll fix some of the fuzziness off the bat, but it, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, but it, now the color doesn't look as bad. Yeah, so the Brio, Brio I think, wins out. Uh, though the audio off the Brio, I think, uh, I, I yeah, mean. You mentioned I, you like the audio on the other one. Thanks for chilling. Some testing. <laughs> I think you should have a headset. I think it's it's Ignore good for everybody. I said. Let's get a headset. Everybody works. Good. I don't see it yet, but I uh, I had that paused the whole time. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, like, I'm hungry. You keep making me call. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is uh, this is the test the feedback loop. She's on the speaker phone right now, She's and loud. I don't and I don't hear myself at all. Going through her through our own speakerphone um, because they have noise canceling technology going on, and I was I didn't really think about that. Now she doesn't sound near as good through her speakerphone, but as long as there's not other like if she's in an office where people aren't talking and making noise around her, this is probably just great. Yeah, I mean, it's different than when we were doing the calls before because now that I'm on the phone, if you're talking or I'm talking. Whatever starts talking the sec like next cuts the other thing off for me at least. Okay. So it's a different feel being on the phone, but mm -hmm. I mean, as long as you're not hearing a feed like a woo -woo -woo, the volumes and me talking over you talking over me talking over you talking, I think that's yeah, good. Yeah, where it gives you that uh, that ringing sound. Um, um, I'm I'm listening to the C922 or I'm using the camera of the C922X, but I'm using my desktop speaker now uh, as. Uh, that uh, yep that's it thanks girl appreciate it no should, problem should be good enough for everyone bye-bye